All right, guys, you guys know I don't do the back and forth shit on Instagram. I don't do the social media drama shit. That's seriously not my thing. But with all the shit that Bob has been lying about on social media, he's pretty much backed me into a corner now uh, and attacking something that I've built for 10 fucking years, poured my blood, sweat, and tears into. So there's no choice. I got to clear some shit up. So first things first, Bob is saying on social media that we owe him money. That is a complete lie. We don't owe Bob Menery a cent. He's also saying that he had the worst deal, a terrible deal for the podcast. But guys, in the 10 months that he was on the show, he made $1.2 million. $1.2 in 10 months. I'm going to show you guys exactly what his deal was. So this is Bob's deal. I typed it out on screen on Instagram here too. Also, he had not one, but two different lawyers look over this deal. And it is extremely generous if you guys do not understand. I'm gonna pull it up here. So he got 30% of the ad revenue of the show. He never owned it. He always says he owns it. He never had ownership of the show. On top of that, he had 7.5K an episode, usually around 30K a month if that's four episodes. 50% of the podcast merch, which is insane. First class flights, hotels, transportation, all covered by us. The production, the staff, and the equipment, all covered by us. So Bob had no expenses. Everything production-wise was covered by Nelk. All Bob had to do was show up. Say too, I personally have taken 0% of any of the podcast earnings. Anything that I've technically made has gone right back into the show, paying for the staff, paying for the production, paying for the travel. But Bob's 1.2 million. On top of that, the opportunity to join the Full Send team and to get exposure, obviously from you guys, from the craziest fucking fan base on the internet, that's priceless. Like so many doors were opened up for him and the amount of huge brand deals that he got and did on his Instagram because of this, like it's insane. The thing I wanna talk about is Bob saying that he built the show, he got all the guests. Uh, I will give credit to Bob, he got some fire ass guests, but the vast majority of guests were gotten by Team Full Send. And he also took credit from Dana White for getting Donald Trump. All right, so I'm gonna make a next slide. I'm gonna put who got which guess. Too lazy to say it out loud. Seriously, like I considered Bob one of my best friends. So I still have enough respect for him where I'm not gonna be pouring out personal details on social media. Um, but you guys see how he is on social media. And behind the scenes, his behavior became like completely uncontrollable. And, you know, like I'm all about the work hard, play hard shit. No one is more than me. But my thing is when it affects the team and the staff and the operation and just full send as a whole, that's when I personally got to draw the line and like make a tough decision. So for months and months and months, I'm trying to figure this out. How can I make this guy happy? I'm working with him one on one. I'm working with his manager. His manager's trying to work with him nothing's working and eventually he came to me with a brand new deal and it was the day before the game episode and he said kyle you have 24 hours to sign this brand new deal or i'm not showing up to the game tomorrow and i said what the fuck bob that's not realistic you coming to me with a new deal and expecting me to sign it in 24 hours that's not enough time i said come to the game episode tomorrow let's crush the episode and you have my word, me and you, one-on-one, -on -one, we'll sit down, we'll figure it out, we will come to some sort of solution. Like, you're my boy, Bob, like, we can figure this out. And I begged with him, and I pleaded with him, and he didn't show up. He missed the game episode. And instead of showing up, he just took to social media so quick and just started posting shit about me, just blasting me, posting lies. And to me right there, like that was the final straw. Like I felt so taken advantage of and disrespected for someone that was supposed to be my friend. Like a friend doesn't go to social media, no matter what, to blast you like that. That's something that a friend doesn't do. And I'll be honest, that actually really hurt me that Bob did that to me. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. After that, I was like, you know what? It's time to part ways. Uh, and this is going to be the last time I talk about this, by the way. You're going to see Bob talk about this for months and months and months and months. So enjoy that. I'm getting back to work. I got shit to do. I got videos to film. Um, and that's it. Thank you, guys. Love you. Such a fucking waste of my time.